Hey YouTube, it's okay here, and somehow I've been vacant from this platform for longer than a week, but fret not for I shall remain on this platform, continuing to make videos every single day from now on, hopefully forever. Anyway, you know atoms, they are of course the building blocks of, well, not most of the universe, only a small fraction of the total universe, but all of the observable universe, all of the stuff we can actually see, basically, is made out of matter. I mean, a tiny fraction is made out of antimatter, but it works the same way. And of course, they're made out of atoms. Even antimatter is also made out of atoms. It's just where the charges are different, basically. But anyway, so matter, you may have, well, you almost certainly actually have seen depictions of what an individual atom looks like. I mean, I think you can easily describe it. You have a bunch of spheres in the center, unless you're talking about hydrogen, where it's just one sphere in the center, a proton, or, but let's say you're talking about uranium, you have a bunch of protons in the center and neutrons, 230 if you're talking about uranium-238, the total number of protons and neutrons is 238. And then you have a couple of electrons orbiting around it. The same amount of electrons orbiting around as how many protons there are in the centre. But this is actually wrong, funnily enough. Now, there isn't really much of a problem with the nucleus, the centre of the atom. That depiction's fine. But the problem comes with the electrons, because electrons don't orbit the nucleus because they're too small to do things like orbiting, because they're in the quantum world, not the classical world of physics. The classical world of physics is the physics that concerns large objects, but compared to electrons, because electrons are some of the smallest objects in the entire goddamn universe. And so if you were to draw a correct diagram of an atom, it wouldn't be electrons in orbits, it would be a cloud around the nucleus. The darker parts of the cloud are where if you were to observe that part of the atom, you would have a higher probability of finding the electron, and the lighter shades are where you'd have a lower probability of finding the electrons. If you aren't looking at it, the electrons spread out over this area called a wave function, which I've spoken about in other videos. And so this means that unless you're actually observing the particle, like firing light at it to try and reflect it back off in order to look at it, the electron isn't orbiting. I mean, it isn't orbiting when you're looking at it because it isn't moving when you're looking at it. It's at a fixed point in space-time and orbiting is, well, motion in a spherical direction or ellipsoid. And so uh, atoms, although you may have been taught for a very long time that they're just electrons orbiting the nucleus, they aren't. They're just a cloud where you have a chance of finding an electron and basically an infinitely small speck in space that's negatively charged in a field around the nucleus. So you're, so most people who are watching this video, no offense to you, but your model of the atom is simply just wrong. According to modern physics, at least.